please hit that subscribe button. Hey, everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores. And we're live. Hey, everybody. So here we are in the final month of the NHL season. Actually, it's almost a month exactly to the day left in the NHL season. Most teams have somewhere between 14 and 16 games left remaining. And um, we're getting very, very close to, to playoff time here, which is obviously fantastic as there is nothing like the NHL playoffs. I cannot wait. It's going to be such a great uh, time this season and uh, going to be a really fun playoffs. But with that, there's obviously a lot of great playoff races going on right now. Um, there, there are huge wild card races in both conferences. There's division battles going on in every division right now. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun here the rest of the way. As we head towards the playoffs, I don't think anyone mathematically is locked into a playoff spot yet or have technically officially clinched a playoff spot yet, but there are a number of teams that we know are going to be in the playoffs this year. And that's what I want to talk about in this video, teams that even though they may not be mathematically locked in, are virtual locks to make the postseason this year and we will be watching in April and maybe even into May or June depending on how far they go into the postseason. So I'm going to go through in this video and talk about the teams that I think are locked into a playoff spot at this point will 100% be making the playoffs and um, and I can't really see any situation where they end up not making it. So before I start, I do want to quickly ask that you please hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and give this video a like. Those thumbs up really help out a lot. Both of those things really help the channel and are very much appreciated. But let's get into it here, starting in the Eastern Conference with the top team in the league, the Boston Bruins, 94 points already. Uh, through 66 games, guaranteed to make the playoffs this year. They're, they're the top team in the league right now. Um, not Maybe won't necessarily finish the top team in the league. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But they're certainly going to the playoffs. I think that's an absolute no-brainer. Um, and they're, I, they're, there's really no circumstances where I could see Boston missing. Same thing with who's right behind them, the Tampa Bay Lightning. 65 games, 87 points for Tampa Bay. Um, really, really strong the second half of the season. Uh, absolutely, I, Tampa is going to the playoffs this year, no doubt about it. Um, still cannot see any, any circumstance where they end up not in the playoffs. Washington. Washington Capitals right now leading the Metropolitan Division, which I think is the best division in hockey. Uh, they're currently atop that division by three points through 65 games with 86 they're going to the playoffs. Um, I, Washington, zero chance that they don't make it this year. They're definitely going to be a postseason team. Same thing with Philadelphia, who is right behind them. Uh, 65 games, 83 points for the Philadelphia Flyers. They've been very, very good since the All-Star break. Absolutely on fire. 8-2 in their last 10 games. Six games, Six-game win streak going on right now. Philadelphia is going to the playoffs, guys. They are a virtual lock. And Pittsburgh. I know, I know Pittsburgh's on a six-game losing streak. They've been struggling. They're still at 80 points. They've only played 64 games. Um... Pittsburgh's going to make the playoffs, guys. I know it's been a struggle here recently, but look at that roster. Look at that team. Um, they're well coached by Mike Sullivan. This is a team that is in the playoffs every year. This is a team that's won Stanley Cups with this core group. Uh, they're going to go to the playoffs, guys. This losing streak is not going to last forever. Pittsburgh's going to be fine, and they're going to be a playoff team this year. Any talk about Pittsburgh not making the playoffs, I think is complete nonsense, a complete overreaction, and, and completely ridiculous, quite honestly. Pittsburgh is going to the playoffs, guys. They're already pretty much locked in. I really don't see them getting passed by... They need to be passed by at least two, if not three, teams to get knocked out of the playoffs. Um, that, that's just not going to happen. This team is too good not to make it. Um, so for the Eastern Conference, those are the teams, guys, that I would say are locked in at this point. Boston, Tampa Bay, Washington, Philly, and Pittsburgh will all be playoff teams this year, leaving the, the you know, obviously Toronto, New York, Columbus, Carolina, the other team from New York, and Florida fighting for 
playoff spots, um, the few playoff spots that are left available in the East. Now let's move over to the Western Conference where the St. Louis Blues have 88 points through 66 games. They are locked into a playoff spot, guys. There is no circumstances where the Blues are not going to make the playoffs. They've won seven in a row. They're 7-2-1 and one in their last 10. They've been absolutely outstanding. Right behind them are the Colorado Avalanche with 87 points through 65 games. Also on a seven-game winning streak. Also 7-2-1 in their last 10. Colorado is a lock to get in the playoffs. They've overcome a lot of injuries this year. Um and still currently overcoming a major one to Miko Ranton, and they're still winning games. They're still one of the top teams in the league. Colorado's going to the playoffs guaranteed. The Dallas Stars, also in that uh, Central Division, 81 points, 65 games played. Dallas is going to the playoffs, guys. No, no reason for them not to. Um, top, that top three... I think is set in the Central Division. Those will be the top three teams. Now, what, what order they finish in, whether it ends up St. Louis, Colorado, Dallas, or a different order, um, that still remains to be seen. But I certainly see those three teams being the top three teams in the, in the uh, division and all going to the playoffs, absolutely. Vegas. Vegas is going to the playoffs, guys. I, the Pacific Division's tight. It's been tight all year. The only the only difference, the range to go from leading the division, which Vegas is right now with 80 points, down to out of the playoffs, which Arizona is right now with uh, 72 points, is 8 points. It's still a tight division, but Vegas is going to the playoffs. They're 8-2-0 eight, eight, and oh in their last 10 games. So they're one of the best teams in that division. You look at their roster, they're really, really good. Um, I don't see any circumstances where Vegas doesn't make it. In Edmonton, also, I think, is a lock for the playoffs. Edmonton will be in the postseason this year. McDavid and Drysaddle have been outstanding. They had a great trade deadline. They were one of my top uh, winners of the trade deadline uh, this past season. They added a lot of secondary scoring help and a veteran defenseman in Mike Green to that decor. I think they made some really, really good moves there to improve the team. Edmonton's going to be in the playoffs, guys. There's no doubt about it. They're, they're a postseason lock, virtual lock for me uh, at this point in the season. They're, they've been having a really, really good year, and they've, they're fun to watch. So in the West, I see uh, St. Louis, Colorado, Dallas, Vegas, and Edmonton all locks for the playoffs at this point, leaving Calgary, Vancouver, Nashville, Winnipeg, Arizona, and Minnesota fighting for the few playoff spots that are left in the, uh, in the Western Conference. That race is going to be really, really tight. It's probably going to come down to the wire right down to the end of the season. Calgary's at 75 points, Vancouver's at 74, Nashville's at 72, Winnipeg's at 72, Arizona's at 72, and Minnesota's at 71. So obviously out, between those teams, we have no idea who's going to come out of that as a playoff team and who's going to get left on the outside looking in. It's going to be a really fun race there in the West at the end, but I do see you know a good number of those teams already locked in. So there you have it, guys. That's the video. This obviously is just my opinion, but those are the teams that I think are virtual locks to make the postseason this year. Obviously, nobody is mathematically locked in yet. Nobody has officially clinched, but um, there, there are teams that I think we know are going to the playoffs, and those are the teams that I just named and talked about a little bit. Um, they're, they're all going to be in the playoffs this year. It would take a catastrophic collapse for any of them not to make it, and I just don't see that happening. I think they're all playoff-level teams. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to my Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.